what are y'all so surprised about what's happening at the Olympics? It's very clear in plain sight what they have done. It's very clear what they representing and they're doing fulfillments. And my thing is, why do you all go places, feel like it's the same laws and same rules and that you can walk comfortable? Let me recorrect this. You can barely walk comfortable without being attacked in America. Well, some of you all. See, those that's over there, they may have a little money. So now they're impacting and they're feeling that their money is not important and their uh, fame is not either or they're representing. And for is what came to my mind is how far removed we are on reality of what's going on. Think about this. If you can go over there in the Olympics and they can make a success and you're not that known, where people's not gonna make up a, uh, fight about you being missing. Isn't that a good way to kidnap? Isn't that a good way to kidnap you? If they see that you don't have no type of people that will rally behind you. And it's clearly evident that they don't care, but they trying to see how far they can push. I don't it's not a hate. People think it's hate. It, those are the demons. Those are demonic legions that's off in those people that's jumping into them. And if brown-skinned people do not wake up and realize the power that they have within, do you all think that all over the nation that they want to give up what they all have stolen in some way, fashion, or form? Why wouldn't they not be angry? Is a representation of what they owe, what they have done. And why not make you look like you the villain? Why not want to get rid of you? Or humiliate you or get rid I mean, aren't the melanated community, isn't they uh, taking people's uh, parts of their body and selling them? Isn't it that they want the melanated skin? Isn't it that they want everything that's by like them? So they have studied every last one of those Olympics in their families and anyone that comes over there to see the poor habits that you have and how easy that you can be taken. You go into you thinking that you privileged and you can go a certain route and get away from your U.S. teams, meaning that no one should be separated. The y'all U.S. should be together. Then everybody can be counted for and no incidents will occur. Now, I understand that they have different things, but no athlete should be just with a couple of people. That's how stuff happens. I'm not saying that it's their fault, but how is it it's so coincidence the USA is being targeted? It ain't all the USA is a certain select people. This part of the USA that's taking their lives for granted in another country. And when you have to understand where your country is, you gotta understand those same places still own the USA. But see, nobody studies their history. Why would you think that going over there would be any difference in them the same, the same country, just like Russia, France, or Portuguese, and a lot of other places have their hands in a pot with the USA? And just think. If you are already over there and you don't know who your people really is, people really don't know who they are. They are, don't really know who their ancestors are and why they got this great power of accomplishments. And it's irritating the hell out of those because they cannot speak 
the God that's within you. And like I said, nothing has changed. Why y'all not supporting one another, keeping the lands that your families own? These foreigners have not let loose of you. Buying things of no value, no lying on ownership, but it got you comfortably thinking that you're doing good with fake money. Allegedly, the use of gold rapidly declined with the onset of the First World War and also the onset of the Second World War. The last series of Olympic medals to be made of solid gold were awarded at the 1912 Summer Olympics in Stockholm, Sweden. We're still in modern day slavery. People wake up.